Hello everyone, my name's Steph, I'm Botanist Cool, and today I'm painting some Greek columns that I got from Ender Toys. If you guys enjoy my mini painting videos, make sure to like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Let's get right on into it. These are Greek, Roman, marble columns, whatever you want to say they are. And honestly, when it came to mini painting, when it came to what I wanted to do with mini painting in the long term, I really wanted to try to focus on terrain painting because I love environmental stuff. Like when it comes to small details on small characters, it's never been what I wanted to do, artistically speaking. Like when I actually used to draw, I used to do a uh, draw every day with a friend of mine. I did a lot of character posing, I did a lot of like uh, artwork from uh, models, underwear models, nude models, art models, etc. And I learned a little bit about the body and I really just didn't enjoy doing that a lot. I liked painting items. I liked painting or drawing items. I like drawing sceneries and trees and plants and stuff like that. I didn't really enjoy as much the character drawing, even though I did do quite a bit of it. Cause like, that's what, you know, young me was like, oh, anime character drawing and all that stuff. So I decided to get these guys and give it a shot. I wanted to see if I can make them look like marble. I wanted to see if I can make it look really good, at least by the three foot rule. Uh, so it looks good from three feet away, not just three inches away. Cause like, I don't think I could do the three inch rule yet. And I wanted to see what I could do with it. And in general, I tried to follow this one thing I found online, which was to take uh, some wet wipes, dry them out, like pull them apart. So they end up having like this really big webbing on them and then putting them on the actual model and then applying paint to it. And usually you would apply that paint via an airbrush or a spray can, yada yada, but I was indoors and I didn't want to do that. And I painted the base black and I painted everything else white and it was fine. <laughs> the best I can describe how these came out was fine. Um <laughs> I, they weren't my favorite, I'll be honest. I felt like I had tried something and I really enjoyed trying it. The method I used did not go well without the spray can, without the airbrush. And I basically tried to just kind of make separate strands, just randomly make it go throughout the entirety of the marble, which turned out better than using the entire thing, especially because it's also like a rounded surface, not just a flat surface. So it made it a lot easier. Overall, though, I wasn't satisfied. I actually took the pieces later on and I did the whole thing again. I stripped off all the paint I could, did the whole thing again, and I actually coated it in gray this time. Used the spray can to actually get some spray done on it, and it turned out pretty well now, and I'll probably uh, hit them up again in the future and in another stream. They are, the, the cracks are a lot wider, so they need to be defined more. But I'm happy with how they are looking now. Here, I'm not dissatisfied with how they look. I'm just not... It's not what I wanted to be. I don't know. I, 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 it's my first time terrain, terrain painting. It's my first time trying to marbleize something. And I know it's definitely not going to be my best, but... Um, I'm okay with how it turned out. I'm not happy. I'm okay with how it turned out on this one. But I wasn't satisfied enough, so I really legitimately just... After stream, I spent hours stripping the paint off. I spent um, a good day or two just applying new paint to it and making those new webbings with the new um, dry uh, the, 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 the wet the wet cloths that I dried out and just stretched and stretched and stretched. And I learned how to stretch them better because sometimes if I stretch them little, uh, sometimes I thought I stretched them too much. They were actually just not stretched enough, and they were super thick, like big blocky gray areas that just wouldn't fit that kind of marble like, to scale these 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 gray and black areas should be very thin comparatively and these are just really thick and uh, abnormally so so there was a lot of work i had to do and i think i could definitely do it better and more and maybe i gotta get better wet wipes <laughs> maybe the wet wipes i use because i used um like Lysol wet wipes for the counters. Maybe I should have just used like baby wet wipes to dry them off and that would have been better Maybe the material there would have helped out in a different ways. I didn't test that out if I'm being perfectly honest Overall though, I feel like this was a great introduction into Terrain painting and I really 
I enjoyed it. It was literally just two colors. It was matte white, matte black, and a little bit of dungeon stone, all from Army Painter and the D&D collaboration there. And... Oh, I used gloss in between to, like, kind of seal in some colors. Um... Yeah. That's basically all I got, guys. <laughs> I really want to do more terrain painting, so I do think maybe I'll check out Ender Toys for other terrain pieces. I don't know. It still is PLA. It still is a little wild to paint and a little difficult to paint. I don't know if I want to spend 50 bucks on a PLA piece that I'm not gonna that I'm not gonna enjoy as much as a $100 like acrylic piece, you know. But I don't know yet. We'll see in the future. Anyways, guys, if you want to support my mini painting, I have my throne down below. You can buy me some minis there. I have some cool stuff there. Uh, we can buy me some dice there if you want to support me that way. Of course, the best way to support is actually to like and subscribe. It is a free way to support and just gets the algorithm going. That way I can make more cool stuff for you guys and have more fun with more painting and more Stardew Valley and more everything with you guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all had a good one. Y'all stay safe, stay botanist cool, and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.